Hi everyone, my name is Dina and I run Miss Tech Queen. Today we're gonna chat all about easy winter themed STEM challenges that you can do with your class. So let's check them out. fun activity that you can do with your students is to have them build a sled. I grab a big piece of cardboard that I find from like old recyclables or something laying around my school and I love to decorate it with marker to make it look like a hill. And the students build with Lego and they try to build some kind of sled that would be the fastest. Now, if you don't have Legos, you can always use another type of building material. You can also use recyclables, but I find using reusable materials is easy for many students. Challenge them to improve their design, and I like to take a duct tape and just take a big line and then mark every foot so that the students can measure the, how far their sleds go. So that is an awesome one. Another one that you can do is build a tool to hang mittens. So I provide students with little mittens. Um, I just print these out, laminate them, and the students are able to use these during their STEM challenges. So the students, I give them all types of materials and they have to try to build a device that can then hang the mittens as if they were wet and they needed to dry. So again, you can really use whatever you have in your classroom, popsicle sticks, pipe cleaners, um, index cards, construction papers, cloth pins, all different things, and get them to build and make some kind of device and invention that they can dry their mittens with. Another really fun and low costing activity is to build an ice sculpture or um, some 3D shapes. So this is great practice if you're doing 3D shapes. And what I do is I buy these little foam um, balls from the Dollar Tree. You can probably find them online and other places. These ones happen to be silver sparkles, so they look fun for winter. They look almost like ice. And all you really need is toothpicks and the foam balls, and your students can create different ice towers. So it's really simple, they just need to poke a hole and I remind the students not to poke it all the way through, that will ruin the ice, um, the foam ball. Just poke it enough so that it holds and it doesn't slide off. And I go over shapes and I encourage them to start with a basic shape on the bottom and then work their way up for a 3D shape. So this is a really fun activity that you can do and you can also incorporate math skills. They can review 3D shapes and measure and see if it's symmetrical, all sorts of things like that. So that is a really good one. And what I always do is I print different um, sheets that go along with my STEM challenges because I like to display this on a slideshow so my students can see and I sometimes print it out if I'm doing a station so they know what to do um, as well. Another one if you have geo boards is making snowflakes. So I provide my students with a bag, Ziploc bag that I put rubber bands in and a geo board. So these geo boards were actually laying around my school. Nobody was really using them and I thought this is great for fine motor skills, creativity, um, just trial and error. It makes the students keep on going. Some of them have a lot of difficulty at first trying to hook the rubber band. So just more like STEM skills to get students to just realize that not to give up, to keep trying, that things aren't always so easy. So I bought these rubber bands from you know, Harmons from the Dollar Tree. You can find little rubber bands. I like the small ones because they can do a little bit more. But I challenge my students to make snowflakes and I like to show them pictures of all different kinds of snowflakes, how they look up close, and then I challenge them to create their own designs. And the things that my students will make look amazing. They come up with awesome, awesome things. So this is just my little example but you'll see all the great things that they make. And I do this from kindergarten up to third grade to see what they make. And it's awesome to see like the different levels and how it changes. So
So that is a fun one as well. And another thing you can do is create a winter tinker tray. So a tinker tray is basically a tray filled with all different things that your students can create and build with. So I buy my trays from the Dollar Tree and you can get like even an appetizer type tray and you can fill it with anything. I do a little snowman and a snowflake challenge. So I put white cotton balls and cut out construction paper strips of like blue and white and I give them popsicle sticks and toothpicks. Really, you can give pretty much anything, any arts and craft supplies, anything, and you're going to just see their creativity. So this is about letting them do what they want. It's not a recipe. You don't want everyone's to look the same. You want to see all the variations and how every student's mind works a little bit differently. And if you want to incorporate writing, I always use sheets so that when students are done, they could write and draw. So here's just an example, and it says, what does your sled look like? They can draw a picture, and then they could write uh, in here and describe what they built. And as your students get older, you might review the design process. So I always like to display or print out the design process so my students realize that they always need to improve. That is one of the most important steps. Students often want to rush and kind of just be done with it, but I force them and kind of encourage them just to keep going, try something new, not to give up. So I hope that you try one of these winter STEM challenges. If you want ready to use and go, kits i have some activities in my teachers pay teacher store so you can check that out otherwise you can definitely use these activities in your own classroom and make your own twist on them as well i hope you have a fun winter and stay warm